I know that we totally did something scientific yesterday, but this is something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, and Jen actually gave me the go-ahead to do it because it's, it's kind of her karaoke machine. I have a hack for the karaoke machine. Let's check it out. This little TV right here, cathode ray, t ray tube TV. And the way that a cathode ray tube it works, it, well, let me open it up and I'll show you. First things first, there is a word of warning behind this. Cathode ray tubes or old TVs, very dangerous to open up. So do not do this at home. It's very dangerous. The, the end of a cathode ray tube, around 20,000 volts at like 15 amps or whatever, 10 amps or whatever's coming out of your wall. It'll kill you real quick. So this isn't like, don't mess around with this. I am professionally trained, but just don't try this at home. Dangerous, super dangerous, okay? Promise. Here is the cathode ray tube. This is all a vacuum. This little thing lights up like a little light bulb, right? It's like called a heater. And what happens after that is all of the electrons are gathered off of the heater and they are all positively charged and they head towards a negatively charged focuser and that focuses them into a beam inside of this little vacuum right here. And that beam shoots towards the front of the tube which is coated in phosphorus and as that beam hits the phosphorus it lights up. And these guys right here, they're magnets pretty much and what they do is they aim the beam so that it makes an image on the face of the phosphorus. What you and I are gonna do, we're gonna try to disrupt that beam and these focusing guys. So we're gonna take and disconnect the speaker wires and run those speaker wires to the the magnets that are controlling the ray and see what happens with the picture. Should be just a dot straight out and then whenever any noise comes across it should adjust the beam and we should be making something like an oscilloscope but I don't really know how it's going to turn out. And then secondly what we're going to do is we're going to bring the picture back into the situation. So what that's what I'm really kind of concerned about. I'm not really sure what's going to happen when I do that. So I'm going to hook these wires back up and also the wires from the speakers back up. See what happens. It should make a picture and then also have a strange sound coming out of the speakers, but whenever you make a sound out of the speakers, it should also affect the picture, theoretically. Double check it with me. This is not touching anything else, not touching anything else, not touching anything else, not plugged in. Let me plug it in here. We're still free and clear. We're all plugged in except for our power cord. What do you say we give it a try, see what happens. Here comes the first test. Make sure that nothing explodes. So far, nothing has exploded. That's a good sign. Plug the microphone in. It is off, microphone's off, this thing's off, let's see. Come on, no explosion. Okay, so far so good. All right, we've got one dot right in the center, which is what I figured would happen. Hello, what is going on right here? Do 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 do. And I turned the microphone volume way up, so we should get much bigger results. Yes, hello, we've got a crazy result now. And it looks pretty cool. I'm glad that I did this. I wonder what would happen if we played some music through there. What? That was pretty cool, but let's see what happens with a little bit of music. Oh, it's not going to be playing any music at all because the speakers aren't hooked up. It's doing uh, Margaritaville. That's pretty awesome. It might be cooler with audio coming through. Moment of truth. Who's ready? We're all connected again. We've got all of our wires are separated out. Normally you should put some sort of tape on these or something, but we're just doing this real quick. Not safe. We got leads coming out, going to each speaker over here, and over there. Uh, let's turn it on and give it a try. But it was really interesting because there's a, a right and left pan, like a balance button here, or knob. The interesting thing was when I went right, because there are two different magnets, top and bottom, and the other one's side to side, because they're like that, when you turn the pan, it took the circle, compressed it down into a line that either went side to side or up and down. I'll see if I can show it to you guys when we're playing around with this. It should do some interesting stuff. Plugging it in again. A little bit of sparking going on coming out of the plug, but that's okay. No big deal. You ready? Here we go. So far, so good. Nothing. The monitor's not on right now, so that's what's going on. All right, let's see if the, the microphone's actually working. Ew. Oh, yeah, we got a nice echo going, too. You hear it? You got it nice and turned up. You ready to see some TV, some, some video? Should be on now. Ooh. Last try, this time I just disconnected the video feed in and now it's just going from the speaker in to the cathode ray tube and then out to the speakers. So you should be seeing and hearing what is coming across the CD. Let's see if it works. So far so good. We can see somewhat of what's going on and I can hear it coming out of the speakers, which is a good sign. Let's see if we can hear some music. And this should be Jimmy Buffett, Margaritaville, non-copyrighted. Too much. This is this is me and Bobby McGee. 
This is what I wanted to show you earlier. Check this out. If you do it this way, you can see it's up and down, and this is side to side. Now, it's just my voice coming through there. Going a little bit crazy. You ready to watch this? Okay, here comes some feedback. This is gonna be crazy. This side? This one was crazier, hold on. This has been a karaoke version of Science with the Tim Dragger. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Do you guys want to know what time it is? It's time for you guys to pay the price.